And we are back from the break, and I am here with uh, TJ Gillett from our varsity uh, esports team. Uh, he is fourth currently out of all of our cats right now with, as we'll look at the scores, with 44 points, posting 12 on Tuesday, um, and 12 points on Tuesday as well for you, TJ. Again, that green moving up arrow has not left uh, next year has not moved from next year name for the last several matches. Right. So um, when you drop, oh, let's start with. So how much Fortnite did you play before the season started? So between last season and this season, I had maybe clocked in like thirty minutes or so. So over the summer plus a couple months, didn't really play much of any at all. So about four or five months off yeah, before pretty much. This, this season started. And, yeah, I remember when you told me that you decided that you were going to uh, pl compete in Fortnite. You were kind of on the fence, not really sure and if you were wanting to do it. But, again, you've been on a steady rise. Uh, like, how quick did you pick up mechanics after, again, not playing for that four or five months? Um, it came back a lot quicker than I thought it would, and that's what I was worried about at first, is that things wouldn't come back as quickly, be just because I hadn't played in so long. But then I hopped in, we had like a practice one day, and then hopped in the first match, did decent. Things came back a lot quicker than I thought they would, but that was the main reason why I was on the fence for playing at first, was because I just hadn't played in so long, I'd kind of lost interest in playing the game on my own. And I thought back to esports, thought back to how much fun I had last season, and mm -hmm. I was like, eh, I'll give it a try. And now I'm very glad that I did, because I've been having a lot of fun. Yeah, and if we have some of our scores pulled up over here, so the first match you were in eighth with five points. You clocked five points in the first match. Second match, you clocked 15. Uh, third match, you broke top five with 12. And then... Um, this again, this last score you clocked in twelve as well. So you're just on the steady. And in the last four matches, you went from eighth place overall with the cats to fourth place. You've jumped four spots, and keep climbing. So uh, one thing that you were looking at, actually, earlier that I was forgot to pull up, so I will get that now. Is the so we are in conference A. Um, our cats are, and I wanted to go total score off. All right, so total score you are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. In our conference, you're the based on points, you're the thirteenth best player out of um, out of a hundred. Oh, wow. There's a hundred players, so you're thirteen of a hundred. So, like, when you go into a match and when you, like, get on the battle bus, like, what, without giving away details that would, you know, if some of our opponents are watching the stream right now, without giving away details to where you go and how you rotate, um, like, what is your mindset when you're dropping in? Mainly my mindset is just me trying to focus and start the game with a level head, mainly because I usually have a more passive play style, and so that's why I really want to keep level head, keep calm, focus on what I'm doing, focus on getting loot, getting a good spot and zone. And that, I think, is where I'm a little bit different with some of the players on our team because I feel like out of everybody, I'm one of the less aggressive players. Mm -hmm. And I think that might be what's resulted in me being slow but consistent because I'm, I'm a mainly shoot for placement points, so mm -hmm. really not that much of a risk. Not as much of a reward either, but mm -hmm. just trying to secure the spot in the finals, and then once the finals come around, do whatever I can, really. Yeah, so, and then, like, when, what is the first thing you look for, like, when you get down? Like, what is the first, do you go straight to mats, or do you go straight to, um, do you go straight, like, the first gun you can find? First gun I can find, although... I land uncontested. The spot that I land that I will not reveal is mainly uncontested, so I really don't have to worry about it, but I mainly just loot up, grab whatever guns I can, loot the few chests, 
and then I'll farm for some materials, but after that, it's pretty much just on my way while I'm rotating. I'll end up getting pretty good on materials. And then after that, just going from there. Yeah, and um, so like, would you say that our team as a whole is more, because you said you're personally more passive, and that is part in part because you want, like the, pa the placement points are bigger point values than eliminations. Especially since you you know hadn't played in five months, pass is probably the best best way to go. But would you say our team as a whole is more attack or more like get the elimination points or get the um, placement points? I would say our team overall is probably more of a get the placement points because I've definitely seen people like get into like the top fifteen or even like the top ten or top five decently often, but. At the same time, nobody on our team is afraid to go for a kill if they need to or if they see it and they think it's easy. Especially players like Cameron and Caleb and Hayden. If they see a kill and they think they can get it, they want it and they'll go for it. And so, like, speaking of some of our other cats, we've seen lot many times where a couple of our cats will run into each other. How fun is the, like, can you tell when you run into, um run into one of our other cats and does the mood of the esports room change when you realize that it's somebody down the road from you yeah so i can definitely tell just because i've played against them so many times in like 1v1s and things like that i can definitely tell and they can also tell and we also like usually use the same skin so we'll recognize that but we'll definitely be able to tell by each other's play styles and then somebody will say something out loud and then we'll like both realize and then at that point it's kind of just a 1v1, a little game between us. And I like those situations because even like if one of us dies from the fight, like we don't really get upset or anything because mm -hmm. it's kind of just fun. And that is part of what I enjoy most about esports is just like the vibe in general in the room. <laughs> and... Yeah, but yeah, we can definitely tell the people who are already eliminated will watch and they'll like wonder and see who's winning and things like that. Yeah, so uh, one one more thing before we let you go to keep getting warmed up as matches will start here in about uh, five or six minutes. Um, what you've been in the esports room talking to some of the players playing some one v ones and stuff or three v threes or the build battles and stuff. Uh, what what is your perception of how matches are going to go today? Um, I think today, I don't think they'll be too much different than usual. I mean, nothing really out of the ordinary. Today, I think I myself might change things up a little bit in terms of my play style. Not necessarily in terms of like certain things I do, but just my general play style. Just to see if I can climb a little bit higher on the board. Definitely secure a higher spot, make sure I get mm -hmm. into finals. Especially because looking at the board, I have some of the lowest elims, even being as high up as I am. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe change that up. But yeah, other than that, I think today is gonna be just like usual, hoping to make the best out of it I can, and yeah, see what happens. And are you guys aware of the rivalry, like the first and se like the rivalry between Springfield, Springfield's team? Oh yeah, definitely. Anytime, like in the kill feed, or when one of us kills someone or dies to somebody, we'll see that they're from Springfield just because we recognize the names then we'll say something just because we're always so neck and neck and I feel like we are pretty similar in terms of skill. All right, so this is, T this again, TJ Gillett with us. Uh, he will be playing on stream uh, in about five or six minutes. But again, TJ, thank you for joining us here. I really enjoyed talking to you. Um, so we'll send it to a break. Uh, we'll be back, hopefully with matches starting here in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 